Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my Mythic Mobs tutorials. Today we are going to be covering the track location mechanic. Now this is a, this is a relatively new one and a pretty simple one. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of uses, but my job is not to tell you what all it cannot do, but rather what all it can do. So, or at least a good idea of what it may or may not be able to do. Uh, anyway, if you haven't already, make sure to hop on over to my Discord channel. Link will be in the description below. You know all that I'm going to say, so I'm going to go ahead and skip all that. Let's go ahead and get started. Once more, as always, you're going to need your mob file. Here I decided to make a file name called Track Location Mob. Uh, tracker, you know, all my basic stuff that I always add. Uh, I, I did add in movement speed this time, bumped it up a little bit. Uh, if you need to take a minute to pause the video to copy all this, please go ahead and do so. If not, we are going to move on. So the mechanic itself is quite literally track location. And that's it. That's that's the whole mechanic. But here's where you can play around with targeters too, though. So you can do stuff at like at self location. You can do at location. So you can do like coordinates C equals, you know, X, X, Y, Z. Yep, those are Z's. Uh, you can do stuff like that. You can do, you know, at target location, whatever you want to do. Uh, as long as it is a location based targeter, you cannot use at target. You cannot use at self. You can use at self location. All right, so let's go ahead and just start here. So we're going to save and reload. MMM spawn tracker. Okay, so when we right click him, uh, we need to add a trigger. Um, uh, interact. Okay, let's go ahead and reload again. Now if we right click him, all right, Moosh, uh, what happened? Well, nothing happened. That's the fun part. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of them for the time being. Because now is where we can actually play around with various things. But now one thing I do want to let you all know. This, I'll even put it in a note down here that you all can copy. This is not a viable substitute for invisible armor stand. Now, why am I saying this? Well, that's because you can use at self-location or track location for a lot of things, but you cannot uh, activate skills that activate or do kind of area of effect based stuff uh, at track location. Because this is still uh, going to be a location based target or you are going to be limited on what all you are capable of using. However, let's let's keep moving forward. I'll kind of show you as we go on. So what we can do now, we can do like teleport at tracked location on interact. Now, right now, this isn't going to do anything because he's going to be teleporting immediately after tracking it. So let's go ahead and do delay equals 60. Um, really? Yeah, I guess that's going to be it. So we're going to go ahead and save and reload. Reload. I'm going to spawn him in again. Spawn tracker. So if I right-click him now, one, two, three, bam. He kind of teleported back to where his track location started. So it's going to be about right where my cursor is. Yep. Um, one thing I want to keep in mind, too, this can get very buggy if your mob is faster than normal walking speed. Like right now, mine is. So he's not exactly going right to where we left off. For example, that red marker there. It sometimes works, sometimes he ends up a block or two away. It's it's really finicky, so use this with, uh, with a grain of salt. Don't try to use it to be super precise. Uh, it might not work, uh, especially if you're using at self-location. Now, if you specify a normal location, like location uh, coordinates equals X, Y, Z, uh, you'll probably be okay because at this point he's teleporting exactly to those coordinates. When you use, like, at self-location or target location, it tries to get as close as it can to a certain point on the entity. So, oh, excuse me, just just uh, something to keep in mind. Now, what you can do is you saw that there was, like, teleporting himself to that location. You can do particle effects, too. So, effect, particle, 
Uh, P equals villager happy. HS equals one, DS equals one. Um, yep, I totally typed it all out there. Okay. All right, and um, let me let me add this to it. Y equals one at track location. You know, we're just gonna copy this entire back bit here. So let's do that, copy that, put that there, bam. Okay, so we're gonna reload again. <clears throat> and we're gonna spawn it in. So as you can see, you teleported back and unleashed some particles there. Pretty cool, right? Um, so those will stay there. So say I were to do like repeat equals five, repeat inter, uh, interval equals 10, I guess, and reload. You'll kind of see, so that's the rough area that he marked. Two, three, four, five, six, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's kind of a, it is a fun visual thing to play with. However, it will not work if you're doing, um, if you're using triggers or targeters that uh, affect more than one entity at a time. Uh, that's one thing I've come to find out. It's very unfortunate, but that is unfortunately the case. But yep, so something to keep in mind. Uh, you can only target the caster or a single target. You cannot do multiple targets. And you cannot do multiple location effects with this. Okay, so how would we make this useful? Well, one thing you can do, like I've shown before, you can do particles here. So if I just switch this down to 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.1, okay. And let's do one that's more noticeable, like villager or angry, I guess. That one's pretty, pretty noticeable. What you can do is you can summon an armor stand there to do some kind of ability. So like uh, tracker helper, I guess. Let's go ahead and do a fast forward here. Okay, so say we do something like, um, now that we have our armor stand set up, let's do summon type equals tracker helper. It'll let me, there we go. At tracked location. Okay. So now we'll do like um, damage A equals three at, at uh, entities and radius, R equals uh, five, I guess, on spawn. As well, let's go ahead and just do remove at self on spawn. So that way it does damage and disappears. We're going to go ahead and save and reload. Okay. Let's go ahead and spawn our mob in one more time. Okay. So we're going to right click him. Okay, so sometimes I mess up. Um, I didn't even add a thing here on interact. And let's go ahead and add that delay too, so that way we know um, what's going to be going on. Because this is going to happen instantly if we don't. So delay equals 60. Okay, let's reload again. Try this one more time. Bam. <clears throat> so if we're standing like close to this, uh, I'm in god mode. There we go. <laughs> Bam. So as you can see, I'm taking damage now. It's like kind of like a landmine going off. Um, however, keep in mind, it is the armor stand doing the damage, not the zombie. So that's something to keep in mind. Using at origin targeters will not work. You need to summon an armor stand there. Or if you are an advanced user, you can also use totem mechanic. So I'll even write that. Totem mechanic is a viable option or tracked location because anyone who uses the totem mechanic knows you also use this as a location mechanic 
Um, it'll put an invisible entity inside of a location, uh, and then from there you can do that origin or entities and radius and whatnot. However, track location itself does not serve as an origin point. I'll even throw that in here too. Track location does not serve as an origin point. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of this one. Let's go and do that. Okay. Okay. So really, that's all I have for you. Sorry, this seemed like more of a lack, uh, lackluster letdown of a tutorial. Uh, but I have gotten a few questions about this one, and I wanted to kind of inform you all of how it works. It works very well when targeting at self or at target. However, it does not really target um, multiple entities as well as origin. Neither of those are going to work. You need to make sure you're using single target or location targets. Uh, again, sorry, it's kind of a kind of a probably disappointing tutorial, but I figured it'd be better for everyone to know what all you can and can't do with it. Uh, as that is what my tutorials are here for. So if uh, this tutorial at least inspired you or you found it helpful, please make sure to give me a like, you know, a thumbs up on this video. It will help me out greatly. It'll also help kind of get my videos across to more people wanting to learn. So you help me help others by giving me that big thumbs up. So I would very much appreciate that as well. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already more, you know, content to come in the future. Hopefully here soon, I'm going to be covering mods too. Wouldn't that be exciting? Dr. Moosh is actually going to be Dr. Moosh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you all go on that note. So thank you all so much for watching, and I can't wait to see what you come up with in the future.